There you are, you lovely lot. I'm going to teach you four more proverbs so that you can master your British English, be more empowered when you speak to your audience. And I want to point out that the biggest difference between a basic English learner and an advanced English learner is they use proverbs. So today we'll go over four. I'll help you master them and then we can practice them in some example sentences. So let's get started with our lessons, my lovelies. some more proverbs as you know using these in your daily conversations will help your message flow a lot easier and clearer native English speakers will be able to understand you that much better because your conversation is flowing so welcome back to the channel if you've been here before if you're new please hit the bell icon and then you won't miss any lessons today I'll teach you four business English proverbs and then we'll go into example sentences so first let's learn what they are and what their meaning is first one I've got for you is good things come to those who wait. Good things come to those who wait. What does this mean? Pretty self-explanatory. It just means be patient and wait because good things are coming to you. Proverb 2 can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink what this means guys is you can give a bunch of good information friendly advice to somebody but you can't make them use it you can't make them implement it Proverb 3, my lovelies. There's no time like the present. There's no time like the present. What does this mean? It means act now. Don't wait. Proverb 4. If you can't beat them, join them. Love this one. If you can't beat them, join them or in proper English, posh English, link up there to the playlist, down there in the description. Let's say it in a proper British English accent. If you can't beat them, you may as well join them. If you can't beat them, you might as well join them. What does this mean? If you can't change someone's opinion or someone's behavior, you may as well just go and do whatever it is they're doing and go along with what they are saying or doing. All right, my lovelies, that's you four business proverbs. Now it's time to get our muscles ready. Facial muscles, tongue muscles, and we can learn some example sentences. So let's do that. Example sentence one, using good things come to those who wait. I'm impatiently waiting for my job application to come back. Well, good things come to those who wait. Example sentence using proverb two, you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink. The new employees read the company rules handbook but didn't implement them so i guess you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink 
i.e. they read the book of company rules, but they did not implement them. Pro Proverb 3 example sentence using there's no time like the present. Did you apply for the new job yet? No. Well, there's no time like the present. You better apply now. Proverb 4 example sentence. Everyone's gone to the new product demo. I'm here by myself in the office. I can't beat them. I might as well join them. So there you go, my lovelies. Four British English proverbs for business speakers, entrepreneurs, to help you get your message across that much clearer. I'm writing a training course with proverbs, idioms, phrases, advanced vocabulary. Keep your eye out. Leave a message if you're interested. I'll be advertising it and I'll let you know on a video when it's available. So thank you for your time and attention, my lovelies. Be sure to incorporate proverbs into your daily conversations. If you found it useful, please give it the thumbs up. Give it some love because you know I'm going to send you some up here. And of course, leave a comment and the big fat thumbs up. See you next time, guys. Bye.